What is going on guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are doing something that I should have probably done a long time ago, but we never did. And I'm doing this on like the hottest day of the year and it, it sucks. So today we are changing out our brake pads. And you guys might be thinking, why are you making a whole video about changing brake pads? Because these are Brembo brakes and they're huge and they don't change pads like normal brakes. These brakes are four pot brakes. So there's a piston here, piston here. And on the other side, there's four pistons and they change out from the top. And I honestly couldn't find many videos on this subject. So I said, I might as well do it because I need to change these out anyways. Now for normal brakes, you should probably change them out every like 30,000 ish miles and my car is 50,000 miles and surprisingly these brakes still have a lot of life left and I just kind of want to change them out because you know I think it's time because 50,000 miles is a lot now if you go to Subaru and ask for brake pads they are going to charge you like $700 just for these Brembo pads so we are using the stop tech sport ones no they're not sponsoring me but stop tech if you see this video sponsor me but these pads were were about 150 and that's a lot cheaper than 700 and these things are massive so let's get it so when doing these brakes there's two pins that we need to knock out right here and right here so you're going to need to get a uh, pin set like this and I got at Harbor Freight for about $10 and hopefully it's the right size and it is so what you're going to do is just get it in and we're just going to try to be careful so we don't chip the paint on our actual calipers themselves. I'm already getting ahead of myself. The reason these aren't even moving at all is because there's a pin that you got to remove right here. And that's what's going to stop the, the pin from moving freely. So with the two pins out and the like holding in pins the next thing we're going to do is just slide out the pads just as they would so these brakes the way they design them actually makes it a lot easier to do a change but there's going to be a tricky part about getting the pistons back in and i looked up a couple tricks so i think i'll be able to do it hopefully so i'll show you guys how to do that These actually still do have some life to them, but it's better safe than sorry to change these out. That was only a struggle and a half to get these actually out of there, but a little bit of wiggling, you'll be able to get them out. Now, for anybody that's ever done brakes, you're gonna know that the piston is going to shoot out and you won't be able to get your new pads in. So the way we are doing this, because they do make a special tool for it and they make special tools for absolutely everything, but there's actually not too much resistance per piston. So what you're gonna do is get your old brake, put it on the piston and literally just shove it in there and you'll be able to move them. And it's gonna take some time because when you're moving the piston, it's shooting all the liquids back into your hoses, but you can do one at a time and they'll go in super easily. So just keep pushing them in until they're literally all in. And it doesn't take that much force to get them in. So right now we are ready to go put our new pads in. So with just a little bit of force, you can get it back in. And I'm gonna say these are a little bit harder to change than regular brake pads, but at the same time, it's not too bad. So right now would be a good time to you know clean your, your calipers because these produce the most amount of dust I've ever seen in my life. And I have some Vosh cleaning solution that I'm gonna spray on here and just wipe it down really good to get all the brake dust off. I'm gonna do the other side real fast. We'll do that on a speed, a, a time lapse, and then we're gonna go ahead to the back and I'll show you guys how to do those ones.
Now the backs look to be very similar. Still the same cotter pin, you still gotta knock the two pins out. So the only thing that looks a little bit different is the actual uh, bracket that holds them in place. So we're just gonna knock them out, take the cotter pins out, and see what happens. So what I've learned so far is for whatever reason, the backs are a little bit harder to get to than the fronts. And I think that's just because you can't turn them. So we got the backs out with just a lot of wiggling and prying and using pry bar techniques to get them out. But now that they're out, we can finally put the new ones in. And again, these ones really weren't too bad. I mean, the backs definitely were wearing out more than the fronts it looked like, which is interesting and I don't know why that is. But that's something else I noticed with these StopTech brake pads is for the backs, it came with all brand new hardware and the fronts didn't have that. So I'm not sure why that is, but StopTech, 150 bucks, hooking us up here. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be watching this video and saying, you know, I'm just going to pay the money and let Subaru do it or, or Toyota. And I'm going to tell you the re main reasons why you really should do this yourself. So I've done brakes on a few cars, just like pad I've done pads and rotors. You see my Civic videos, I've done pads and rotors on that car. I did them on my girlfriend's car. It's not a hard job to do yourself. It may take some time and with Brembo's, it's a little bit different because of how they're set up but it's definitely doable yourself, even if you don't have much knowledge about cars. So as I said before, these StopTech uh, pads were about either 150 or 170 on CarID.com, opposed to going to Subaru and them charging you $700 for authentic Brembo Subaru pads. They do the same thing. There's no difference between this StopTech and a Brembo, and apparently, StopTech makes a better quality pad regardless. So when looking at pads and doing it yourself, if you go to Subaru, they're gonna charge you $700 for the pads and probably another $300 just to put them on. So right now you're about $1,000 just to change out brake pads. Doing it yourself, it costs you $170 for the pads, which is still a very expensive pad because most pads, I think for the, for the Civic, they were about $30 for the whole set. So they're still expensive pads, but they're it's doable yourself and it'll save you about $900. And that is a lot of savings. I like to do most things myself because I'm able to. And not everyone is able to, which is fine, but the reason I put out videos like a how-to like this is because I went on YouTube to try to figure out how difficult it would be. And I learned this by watching a video of a guy doing it on a Hellcat. So the brakes are pretty much the same. All Brembo's are pretty much universal for how they work. So I thought I'd put out a BRZ video because I haven't seen many of those. So they're not hard to do. It's easy to do yourself. And again, it's gonna save you like $900 in the long run. This car is awesome, but some things I'm finding are way overpriced and it, it's ridiculous. Like these pads, way overpriced. And I know when I get to do the rotors, which I'm not gonna do for probably another 50,000 miles, I'm not gonna go with the Brembo ones because I think, I, I wanna say they're $3,000 from, from Subaru or around that price and that's an outrageous price. So if you can get an aftermarket brand, go for it because half the time they work exactly the same. And I also do know a lot of people that are like, well, I'm not gonna mess with OEM spec and, and I'd rather just do it that way. If you wanna waste your money, go ahead and waste your money on it. I'm just saying, this way will save you money and it's not hard to do yourself. I started this maybe an hour ago and I learned, taught myself how to do it by watching one video on it and now we're pretty much done. I have to do my last rear, but that's not gonna take me very long and I'll be able to finish it in about 10 minutes. So timeline wise, the first one took me about 25-ish minutes because I didn't know what I was doing. Figured it out, second side only took me 10. This back probably took me about 15 and I know the other rear is gonna take me about another 10. So you're talking about an hour of work to do this yourself and save $900 and it's not too difficult to do. 
Well, I am gonna leave you guys off here. Sorry I haven't been posting much lately. I got a new job and I've been working literally every single day and it's been so tiring and it sucks. But we're getting there, we're getting money. I'm about to put about, I'm not gonna say prices, but I'm about to put a lot of money into the BRZ here in a minute. I have stuff I'm planning on ordering next week early next week as soon as I get paid and I'm so excited to be working on this car again because I don't work on the BRZ nearly enough anymore. So I'm gonna leave you guys off here so you guys do if you guys could please me a few things comment, like, subscribe, keep doing the fun stuff, keep doing you, stay motivated. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and peace.